hello welcome back everyone into my channel on my last video i share with you how to display a cf gallery field in the brick square loop then um there is a guy who sent me the code which i think it's better than mine it's more simple it's more optimized it's more clean and um i think i should share this because it can uh, help you in any way so uh, the first is okay let's see his code not one okay this one um, instead of using the creating the custom query uh, in your a function file or in your snippet file he use a query editor in the bricks uh, editor so Let's add some section first. Okay, so he used this query editor, and uh, I I do I do really love this solution. So let's um let's uh, test the code. Okay, SF gallery get filled my image. Okay, so I need to change it to my actual SF gallery field. Okay, so this is my field. Let's paste it. And oh yeah, don't forget to change the apa the return format into the image ID. Okay, and let's see what's next. Uh, inside your query loop, you may use image element and post ID as dynamic data. Okay, so let's go back to our editor and let's add image element. This is really interesting uh, approach since uh, we use the post ID um, as an image ID, I think. Or correct me if I'm wrong. To display, to get the image and then showing up on the, apa, on the front end. Okay, see? This is really cool. It's, it's really simple. I love the solution and the image size is working too we can just change the image size and it's oh it, it, it will use the size of you choose something like that i do really i do really love this solution um so if you guys um happen to use my code my approach I believe if you wanna if you wanna have some uh, s more simple, more optimized, more clean code and more maintainable, I think uh, you can use this approach. I will share the code, uh, the link of the code, in video description. And thank you for thank you yeah, for uh, wait, Martin WB. I'm sorry if I spell your name wrong, but yeah, I appreciate you share the code with me and with the people who watch my video um thank you very much again so it, this is just simple uh, this is just short co uh, short video and thank you for watching and happy coding see you next time